just like Popeye. If you eat your spinach, you will grow big and strong. I might be dating myself here with a reference to a 60s cartoon. Spinach is a fabulous crop to grow and does well in cool weather, so it's perfect for lengthening your growing season. Thanks, Elizabeth, for suggesting this video. Keep those suggestions coming. There are several types of spinach, which kind of describe the leaf or stem. They are arrowhead, smooth leaf, savoyed leaf, and red vein types. Typically, we see the smooth type in grocery stores because it's the easiest to clean and process. Savoyed types have crinkly leaves. Bloomsdale is kind of the classic in this area, and it's a great choice. It does especially well in fall plantings. The other savoy that I've grown is Equinox, which seems to cope with the heat and was a better zone six choice for me. Although like any spinach, it will bolt in the summer heat and longer days. Smooth spinach types typically grow quickly and you can start harvesting in just a month for baby spinach. Space is my favorite spinach variety, partly because it's ready to harvest quickly and is great for early spring salads. It's also compact, so you can grow a lot in a small space. Malabar spinach is not a true spinach, but is often treated like a spinach. It's a leafy green from Asia that is great for salads. New Zealand spinach is another Asian green that is not a true spinach. Both of them can handle hotter weather. I have grown the Malabar in the summer, and it's a nice green, but gets kind of slimy when you cook it, kind of like okra. Spinach seeds are pretty easy to handle. Spinach, unlike many crops, likes to germinate in cooler temps. The ideal temps are 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It will even germinate in soil temperatures as low as the 40s, but much slower. When temperatures climb above 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius, the germination rate seriously declines. Prepare soil beds in the fall so you can get a jump start planting spinach as soon as soil temperatures start to rise. Germination rates on spinach seeds are typically only fair, and seeds don't store well. Some gardeners soak seeds for six hours before planting, which is called priming. Honestly, I never did that, but I also make sure their seed bed stays moist. Usually that's not an issue in spring, but for fall plantings, don't forget to water. So spinach is an ideal candidate to direct sow in the garden. You can also transplant it. My preference was always to direct sow in spring and transplant in fall, just because that was easier to give it the ideal germination temperatures. Spinach does great in raised beds and containers as well as in garden soil. Sow the seeds two inches apart in a very shallow trench. The trenches should be about one foot apart and the depth of the trench should be about a half an inch. If you use the square foot gardening method, plant nine seeds per square foot. This spacing also works well for containers. If you use a four gallon, you can use a four gallon or bigger grow bag as well. Spinach enjoys being close to their neighbors. Spinach does great in the early spring and late fall in a greenhouse or a cold frame. For six B zone, I typically planted it outside under cover in March and also in late September or October. Honestly, the biggest problem is that most people plant spinach outside in late April or May, and by that time you have missed the opportune moment. Get it in the ground early. If you haven't read this book, you should. It's a classic. The Four Season Harvest by Elliot Coleman. Coleman lives in Maine and grows greens all year undercover. I'll link it down below or check out your local library. 
When the temps rise above 70 degrees, you will want to place a shade cloth over the bed to get a couple more weeks out of your spinach. It is also going to react to daylight hours, so eventually it will bolt and go to seed. Use the shade cloth again in the fall to keep the seedlings cool. Aphids can be a problem with spinach. Monitor your plants. Spray them with soapy water or Monterey Organic Garden insect spray. Also, plant crops such as yarrow, dill, or cosmos to draw in the ladybugs. There are several kinds of leaf spot, and they can be a problem for spinach. Leaf spot on any plant interrupts its ability to photosynthesize and produce food. Warm weather and high humidity bring it on, and it affects chards and beets as well. Leaf spot can be spread by infected seed and weed hosts. Make sure your seed company tests for diseases on seeds. There is no cure, but you can spray with neem oil to try to keep it from spreading. Harvest spinach by cutting the leaves. Always harvest a row and then give it some fish emulsion fertilizer to help it recover and produce more. If you had good germination and your plants are crowded, you can cut off every other one and leave the rest to grow bigger. This statue of Popeye the Sailor Man is located in the South Texas town of Crystal City, where huge spinach farms thrive. Popeye actually first originated during the Great Depression when it was felt that American children were not getting enough vegetables in their diets. Because spinach is high in iron, the creators had Popeye gain strength when he ate spinach. He was famous for saying, I'm strong to the finish because I eats me spinach. Boop that like button. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.